Hello everyone's everyone's. I am here for my review of Real Housewives of Atlanta season 13 episode 14. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, you one of my peoples, a welcome back. Now I apologize if I'm not so cheery and you know rah rah like I usually am. I have tried to make this video five times and things just keep on going haywire. So I apologize in advance background we apologizing for that too this is the way we gonna be set up for the next few days drew and pastor Jeanette are discussing drew going to new orleans for a film she has going on and while down there learning more and more about the family history drew wants to know about the biological side of pastor Jeanette's family and pastor Jeanette's like I don't know those people. Then people didn't want me to know people. Me being my mother and father who actually went out and adopted me and raised me. These are my biological people. And Drew was like, okay. She's like, oh, you go ahead and find biological what you consider my biological people. But the people who raised me, those are my biological people. So Drew was stuck with, you know, she wants to find out the family history. Pastor Jeanette don't want nothing to do with it. Meanwhile, Drew's son, Josiah, his father is wanting a relationship with him now drew doesn't know how she feels because like she has her happy home ralph has been the father for josiah since he was what two three years old she doesn't want to confuse things for her son now apparently the son's father went to jail when josiah was like a baby she took him to meet um, josiah to meet him when he was like two or three he met him again a year, like a, the previous year, and Josiah not realizing and confused as to how is it, Ralph is not my daddy, and this man here is my daddy. Now, Ralph, on the other hand, he's like, yes, I've raised Josiah as my own. I love him as my own, but he still needs to know who his biological father is. Now, Drew, she's on this, like, she don't want to confuse her son. She doesn't want him to... She wants him to have a relationship because she doesn't want him years down the line like him blaming for her from, you know, them not having a relationship. And then at the same time, it's like, does he really need to be here confusing my child? Now, you ask Josiah. Hold on, where am I at? Okay. She asks him, does he want to speak to his father? He's like, no. Like, do you want to have, are you interested in talking to him or meeting him? He's like, no. And I'm glad that she asked him and not just thrust this upon him. But Ralph is like, you know, think about it. Is this what something you do want and do want? And I, I did not like she kept on calling him old daddy. And I'm glad that Ralph said that like, old oh, daddy, that I just don't like you saying that. And I was like, yeah, she kept on saying old oh, daddy, old oh, daddy. But in Drew's mind was when she was dating Ralph, Ralph was... Uncle Ralph and when they got married he became daddy so now this is you know, your new daddy but like I I don't know I don't like when women have a boyfriend it's like this is uncle such and such uncle such and such no this, this is my friend this is my boyfriend but y'all want me to call this man uncle and all this other stuff no and but Ralph does like encourage this young man like do you really really want to, to give up things like i'm not asking you i'm asking if you want to and not really having me as a father and he's like i mean yes and i'm glad they did ask him his opinion on things he's like he really doesn't want to but like give him some time and maybe he'll you know it's settle in and like maybe want to have a relationship with his biological father now, we're moving over to Fallon's house. Now, Fallon then went all the way out on decorating her house. She got people jumping out and scaring you, everything. Now, y'all, I'm telling you, the last time I went to a haunted house was in 1999. And me and my cousin, they transferred, like, the uh, what's it called, laser tag place into a haunted house. We was the first two in line. They told us to go in, so we sitting there in a pitch black holding hands, scared and, like, we see, like, a head floating and all this other stuff. And then, finally, the other people come in there. It's like, who let you in? And I was like, some person that said, R, come in. So, we came in. They was jumping out and scaring left and right, up and down. Yeah, I don't like going places where I'm actively scared. I get that enough for my nephew. That is his joy in life when I go visit is him to jump out and scare me. So, yeah. 
but I did like that she had, you know, she tried to throw a party, but like the ladies are complaining, like it's not a lot of people there, the food ain't as best. But I was like, she can't really have a lot of people because we're in a bit of, in the middle of a pandemic, and she can't have a lot of people. So if y'all ate what y'all got, okay. But like, like if had not been for the pandemic, it'd probably been a bigger party. They've been happy, but it's like she got the people, the girls on the show there, and that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Now y'all, Candy's like cat outfit was like. I couldn't tell it was her at first and like the eye and the makeup was throwing me off. I was like, that looks, it looks so scary. It was really throwing me off. Now where am I at? <sighs> Latoya coming in all wrong per usual. Now the ladies, they didn't set up, got their own drinks and got their own food. She coming up talking about something. This is a big house. Somebody served me. Where's the way to red? Doing all this extra stuff and Fairland's like, food. Over there. Drinks over there. Your feet. Get up. Walk and get you your own plate. This, that, and the third. She's like, ah, you ain't got no chef. You got this big old house. You married this 65-year-old man. I need to do this. Like, really being ugly and messy inside this woman's house. And I was like, if you don't, if you need somebody to serve you, this is me. You need somebody to serve you that bad. You need to go elsewhere. Because everybody else here got up off their hind parts. Went and got them a drink and went and got them some food. I didn't have anybody else over here snapping fingers, needing waiters and chefs and all those things. You're not going to get that. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. After all that ugliness she went on, Kenya confronts LaToya about telling her business. Now, LaToya says that she tried to defend Kenya and protect her by telling the girls her business. I was like, how is that protecting her going to people that she don't like and they don't like her to tell her business? And this is when she tried to throw Candy in the bus. She was like, where we at? Okay. Kenya, oh yeah. Kenya feels that she can't trust LaToya. LaToya was like, well, I only brought up what Candy said. You know, I figured once Candy said it, it was out and open. I was like, yeah, Candy did, you know, bring it up when y'all was out to eat somewhere. But she didn't bring it up to the girls who don't like her. She just brought it up to us, the world, and Don Juan and them. She ain't so much as mad at Candy out here telling your business, her business. She's out here mad that you are telling her business. She's mad that you was kissing all up on Portia. And now you out here telling my business to Portia? Now, if you think about it, when she was over here telling... Kenya's business. Portia's like, girl, I may not like Kenya, but you out here telling her business. You messed up for that for being your friend. And I was like, Latoya isn't anybody's friend because she over here telling your business to people she know that you don't like and you know don't like her. But she wanted to say, I was tipsy. That's why I wanted everybody to know you before I was tipsy of knowing you and telling everybody what you got going on. I was like, okay. Is this really what LaToya was giving? I'm like, she was getting on my nerves. And then LaToya was being disrespectful to, to Fallon yet again. She's like, this place is boring. I'm leaving. I was like, I would have been like, deuces, get up out of here. Get up out of my house. She up there yelling, you got three baby daddies. You living with this old man. You doing all these things sexually. Da, da, da. You with an old man and all this other stuff. So Fallon's like, you know what? I ain't taking this no more. She proceeds to try to run after Drew. Not Drew. What's her name? Latoya. Security gets her. She's like, okay, I'm cool. She didn't got golf clubs. She didn't flew by like she used in boat to try to get this girl. She's like, you're not going to be disrespecting me in my house. This is what you're not going to do. And I was like, I don't. Why must Latoya be like this? Is this her trying to like solidify her role for next season but like you not gonna this is like i had this problem one time when i was like 15 years old my cousin got rest her so her friendship between us she didn't like me for whatever reason i never understood why but she was over my house being extra raggedy towards me and i was like what you can do is leave up out of here you can catch the bus and go into your house because you're not gonna be in my house in my room being disrespectful to me this is what you're not gonna do okay my cousin she can stay she want to take you home and leave that's fine but you're not gonna be up in my house disrespecting me and the nerve gall and audacity for latoya to do this is a lot so y'all i'm sorry this is like the fifth time that i didn't did this video but i'm tired 
So yeah, but y'all, if I was the I, that was the gist. If I left anything out, by all means, leave a comment below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It's free all day, every day, free ninety nine. Make sure your notifications are on. with my beautiful face. But it's a video. You can click on it. You can like it and share it with your people. And you can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.